The government might shut down again, this time over a fight to stop public funding for a group called Planned Parenthood. You've heard the barbs. Planned Parenthood is aborting fetuses alive to harvest their brains and other body parts. That is a fact. When they attack women's health, they attack America's health, and it's wrong, and we're not going to let them get away with it. But let's take a step back. Where did Planned Parenthood come from? The year was 1914. The world was about to devolve into its first eponymous war, one. Babe Ruth made his Major League debut as a pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. And a 34-year-old nurse named Margaret Sanger coined the term birth control. In March of that year, Sanger began publishing a feminist monthly called The Woman Rebel. She advocated for the right of every woman to be the absolute mistress of her own body. By August, she was indicted for breaking obscenity laws. Publishing anything to do with sex was illegal. She fled the country. The next year she returned, but the charges against her were dropped. In 1916, Sanger opened the country's first birth control clinic in Brooklyn. She posted handbills around the neighborhood in English, Italian, and Yiddish. Mothers, she wrote, can you afford to have a large family? Do you want any more children? If not, why do you have them? 10 days later, the police shut down the clinic and arrested Sanger. She spent 30 days in prison. But Sanger appealed the decision, and both won and lost. Though the court upheld Sanger's conviction, they also ruled that doctors could provide women with contraception. In 1923, Sanger opened the country's first legal birth control clinic. In 1939, the league merged with Sanger's Clinical Research Bureau to become the Birth Control Federation of America. Three years later, the Birth Control Federation of America changed its name. The term birth control, which Sanger had coined 28 years earlier, was deemed too radical for the new conservative constituency. Sanger objected, strongly, but she was on the outside. In 1942, the group became the Planned Parenthood Federation of America. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.